Hi guys, this is Todd Barber from the Reef Ball Foundation. I'm here to teach you how to plant a red mangrove tree where it can be grown in water deeper than normal so that you get all the roots in the water. We're at an extremely low tide at a property we've restored with reef balls and mangroves. It's called the Armored Cultivator Pot. There's an example of what the tree is going to look like when you're done. I'm going to tell you about this method. Uh, it'll take me about 15 minutes in this video to show you what to do. You can do this by yourself at home. The materials are very inexpensive and it takes about one year to prepare a, a propagule for planting. The first thing you're going to need is a propagule. Uh, we'll see if we can find one down here in the mangroves. We'll show you what you're looking for. Here's a good example. There's a seed. And the propagule seed you want is actually, this is rather short. You'd like to find one as tall as possible, uh, but you can work with whatever's available. The best one is to work with them fresh off the tree. You can pick them right off the tree when they're ripe, uh, or you can also collect them uh, from any seashore, usually in the summer, summer or hot months. Okay, we're going to go over to my house, and I'll show you the nursery I've created in my backyard and how you can do the same thing to achieve those same stellar results. One of the problems with mangroves is it's pretty easy to plant in shallow, muddy water if you have a protected area. But if you want to go out deep like we're doing here, you want that plant to get up as tall as possible, as quickly as possible. That plant that you saw, uh, we've got a three foot tide range here, um, has to have a leaf sticking out of the water in all but the highest tides for it to survive. So you can't just plant the propagule I just picked up directly in two foot of water or the plant would drown and not be able to grow. So the object is to grow this propagule into a fairly tall tree as quickly as possible and get it established back out in the wild with protection so that the waves don't bother it. Okay, so from that propagule, what we're gonna do is first create a nursery for however many trees you want to grow out. In my case, I had a five gallon bucket. I filled it initially full of the water from the area where I'm planning on planting. Um, and that was a sort of brackish water here. You can also use fresh water, works perfectly fine. You take these plastic tubes, like these are in, you fill them full of mangrove muck, you stuff the bottom with a paper towel, and you plant your seed up fairly high in the tube. Now that is one year of growth. You see they've already grown up quite a bit. So we're going to select one of these that today we're going to get prepared for, for outplanting. Now when I grew them out, if you use less than full strength water, you can use a lot of fertilizer in these guys. You're in a bucket and it's not going into the ocean. So that helps them to keep a small root system and to grow quickly. You see how it is there. I'm going to put the camera down here. Hopefully you can still see me. Now to get this mangrove out, simply squeeze it a little bit and I like to use a flexible black pipe for this and it should be the same size this is an armored cultivator pot as the hole in the middle of the cult cultivator pot so, you know it fits in just, just right now I'll start to gently blow on this a little bit hard to get out here give it a second Use a little bit of water here to Flush it on out. bucket we've got a nice developed root system and a good tall plant and when the armor cultivator pot I put a temporarily a bottle of plastic water into the middle of my pot and I fill it up with mangrove muck then in the top of the pot I'm going to take 
two or three, four chunks of wood. You have to use non-pressure treated wood. You can use bark. Basically, the longer you're planting on your second grow out phase, the more stable a wood you want. This will eventually degrade, leaving an opening for the roots to come out. Then, I'm gonna take some turtle creep, which is a product that sets in 30 minutes and is completely non-toxic. In fact, you can mix it up with your hand and a little bit of water. Uh, it's super, super easy to mix. Sorry about that, I didn't have the bucket quite handy. Take a little turtle creek. You can use your bare hands with this. You don't need gloves. Put a little turtle creek in. Add some water to just barely make it liquid enough to pour. So you get a nice consistent mixture. This stuff is self-leveling. And just pour that. Into the top to lock in the mangrove bucket. Mangrove muck can be ideally mud from an estuary or creek. You can also use sand mixed with some potting soil and organics. Uh, as long as the soil is going to stay in there, you see what's going to be cemented in with this turtle creek so that the roots will be forced to grow out over the top and into the water. This stuff cleans up just with the water. I normally let this sit up for about 30 minutes before I flip this over. For sake of the video, I'm just going to show you how to do it here. Piece of concrete in the bottom. Alright, next we're going to put our mangrove right into the armored cultivator pot. Alright, this pot, once it hardens, we're going to put it back into, and I yet like to use egg crates. You can use any container you want that's sturdy, and I like to use contractor grade plastic bags. The reason why I like to use the egg crates and bags, what I'm basically going to do is put this in here, fill it full of my fertilizer solution or my salt water or my fresh water, and let it continue to root out for a while. Then I'll carry that in the, in the boat or the kayak out to the planting site, pull the bucket out with it and return this to the land and this plastic kind of makes it easy to snake out from under it if you get any roots in there that start to try to form on the sides. The next step is to put this into that bucket uh, three weeks to four weeks before you plant this out you have to change the water that this thing is going to be setting in to the exact same salinity of what you're planting it out in. So if it's full strength seawater you got to convert it to full strength seawater. What I typically do is first 